Hi, so welcome to Impingement. Um, we all get it from time to time. Uh, it's generally like an overuse injury or, uh, and I think it, this is in your case, sometimes when we're like, we're overusing it a lot, we're really hammering that bad boy, lots of shoulder stuff, lots of pressing, um, pulling as well, and you have a tendency to dump a little, we all do. Um, what ends up happening is, uh, if you can see here, this little dude called the supraspinatus, this red guy right here, uh, connects to basically the top of the scapula, the top of the scapula, and then it uh, goes into this little bony hood, and this is the back, by the way, and then attached to the humeral head on like the top lateral aspect, and its job is to rotate the um, the humeral head just a little bit so that the deltoid can take over, and if the supraspinatus doesn't like do its job correctly or at all, especially when we piss it off. Uh, what ends up happening is the uh, humeral head doesn't get to do its rotation before the deltoids can do its job. It, the uh, supraspinatus, if it's not doing its job, the deltoids will take over first, or uh, disproportionately so, and it'll just go And then when it goes the supraspinatus, let's pretend this guy, uh, gets kind of crushed in between the bone up here and the humeral head. Um, it's actually designed to do that normally, but when we put a lot of pressure through it, it just gets pissed off. Um, I actually don't think you have a high level of inflammation. Nothing you said kind of demonstrates that to me. So a little ibuprofen should uh, knock down whatever inflammation's in there for a bit, and then we can get started. So I got my list of what to do. One moment, please. All right, so yeah, ibuprofen, um, start with the lowest dose. We'll see where that gets you, but if that doesn't really take the edge off, doesn't really help, um, that's probably a good thing because it means that there's no inflammatory process or no significant inflammatory process because there is a bursa in there. You might get a little bursitis or tendonitis, well, tendinosis, anyways. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can try acetaminophen. It's not an anti-inflammatory. It's not actually an NSAID. It's just um, it's a pain blocker, essentially, and that's all we're looking for, uh, especially during prep. So, lacrosse ball, where did I put that? What you can do with a little muscle is, well, before you do that, you're gonna find your supraspinatus, right? So, find your scapula, there's gonna be like this hard bony ridge right here, and you're gonna go underneath it, in roughly this area. It's also gonna be like, you can probably find it here. If you press on it, like with moderate pressure, with just your hands, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's not happy. You're a power lifter slash strong man person now, and uh, it's gonna be lit up no matter what, because you do a lot of pressing, do a lot of pulling, shoulders gotta be stable. Toss a lacrosse ball into that bad boy. Um, I would actually recommend doing this on the wall and not so much the floor. Uh, reason being is because it's just weird to get the right angles down on the floor. And um, on top of that, like you can put a lot of weight on it by accident and then pff, yeah, it's gonna fucking hurt excuse my language, and if you do it on the wall, you can kind of like move around, kind of contort yourself, find that spot. When you're on the spot, you will know. And if pain like travels down your arm into your hands or anywhere along there, totally normal. That's the normal referral pattern. You're not dying, you don't have like something crazy. Um, I want you to like spend a couple minutes hunting around there and I want you to like pretend to externally rotate, contract it, and then relax. Contract a little bit, a little bit, and then relax. Really melt into it. Reason being um, why I'm having you do this is because the when we dump forward or internally rotate, which is why um, doing the supraspinatus' job with internal rotation pops it forward and then it, it artificially whacks that, um, that bony part that I showed you in the picture. And if your external rotators aren't like particularly strong and they share the same attachment, um, then it's not gonna be able to like pull that bad boy out of there, give it the space it needs to like breathe and relax. So put this in the supraspinate or in the infraspinatus, which is basically this guy right here. You might find it's closer to the spine, you might find it's more lateral. Hunt around, find what you need. That's number two. Number three is going to be uh, same thing, but to the supraspinatus. And the way you find that is find that bony ridge again, it's right there. And instead of going down for the infraspinatus, infra below, you're gonna go to the supraspinatus, which is 
above the little woolly ridge. And it's right there. It's covered by the trap, so when you do this one, you're gonna have to do your best to kinda relax. Um, you can try this one on the floor, uh, just because it has to like really get some pressure into it. But I would actually suggest trying the wall first as well because it is in a weird position. Like it's kind of weird to get the ball here. Let me, yeah, mine is right about there. And there's one or two spots right there. And its referral pattern is like down to the front, which is why you're feeling it there too. It's also kind of attaches a little more anterior than the picture showed. Um, same thing, contract, relax as best as you can, but really we're just looking for that pressure. Um, again, referral patterns down the arm, totally normal, don't worry about it. Uh, these are gonna hurt, by the way. It's just how it is. So once you spend a couple minutes doing those, the next step is um, very weird stretch that not a lot of people can get um, unless like it's I'm more hands-on and kind of showing them how to do it. But to the best of your abilities and I know that you've developed this great skill of proprioception. Um, I'm confident that you can figure it out. So we're basically gonna put a stretch on that bad boy and it's gonna seem like we're pushing it into that bone like um, we just talked about, but we're not really. So what we're gonna do is a little stretch, contract, relax. So what that looks like is like get your scapula slash shoulders up, retract it, right? And you're gonna go in this 90-90 uh, position. You're gonna take your other hand, you're gonna push here, and you're gonna wanna push this direction as if going in, uh, in line with the arm bone, the humerus, whatever. And at the same time, you're gonna kinda pull it in. So while you're getting a vector exactly this way, you're also getting a vector this way, kinda across the body at the same time but you're gonna push back first, and then you're gonna pull it in, and here's the weird part is you might have to internally rotate, you might have to externally rotate, you might have to go up here, down here, whatever, until you kind of find it. Um, that's the hard part, or it's one of the hard parts, but I'm sure that you can find it. Um, what was I gonna say before moving on? Cap everything, four out of 10 pain, you know the drill, it doesn't work, if it hurts, let me know, we'll try something else. So the secret to this besides this part, bring it back and across, is you're actually gonna actively try to like, go do like a reverse fly and this motion at the same time. So it's resisted and you're not gonna see it move, but I am essentially doing this motion, right? So putting it all together, Make sure we're fucked up. Back, in, resisted. Ooh, yeah, that's actually really nice. And you can kind of, there, there it is. But if we hunt around, nice, that's, that's what I needed right there. You're gonna feel a little stretch somewhere along here. You might also feel it back here. That's totally normal. I want you to do this one. Um, for about two minutes, it's just maybe 10% contraction of all the contraction you could do, right? Like RPE1, basically. So two minutes of contract, relax, contract, relax. So give yourself like 10 count on, 20 count off, 10 count on, 20 count off. Uh, the important part for the timing of contract, relax is going to be however long you contract, double the time for relaxation. Cool, so that was for two minutes total, by the way. And then this one you can try uh, today, but it might still be a little aggravated. But definitely try this tomorrow. It's going to be uh, supine shoulder 90-90 face pulls without load. It's just my notes, so all that is, is you're in your, your shoulder 90-90 position, right? 90, 90. And you're gonna be on your back, supine. Can you see, yeah, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your scaps up and back. Um, you're not gonna depress them, you're just gonna keep them up and back because you want them posteriorly rotated. 
and you're basically going to pretend that you're going to do a face pull and it's kind of or a reverse er fly if that makes sense so all it is you're going to pretend that you have a band and you're not actually going to have a band pretend you have a band and you're going to actually rotate and do one of these and it's going to be very slow and controlled squeeze the back and push the hands into the floor start out very gently because you got to find where the pain threshold is um, for your tolerance levels but at the same time you want to if one really hurts if like up here is too much or down here is too much if in the middle is too much hunt around um, find which angles are gonna work for you you're gonna feel this little dude in here do its job um, if this gets too much then just mix it all together where there's a billion alternatives uh, sorry this was so clunky <laughs> I did this last second I just got out of uh, an exam so if you have any problems let me know uh, just to review real quick we have ibuprofen right um, lowest dose that the bottle says um, one to twice a day if that doesn't work for you pain wise try acetaminophen um, try to get the lowest dose you can for acetaminophen it is liver toxic uh, three is going to be the lacrosse ball in the infraspinatus, this guy back here, or the supraspinatus, uh, that dude up there, remember, find the bony ridge, super above, infra below, um, and then you're going to do the stretch, you're going to cross and resist it, 10 count on, 20 count relax, 10 count on, 20 count relax, and then last but not least, you're going to do your laying um, I guess face bowls is what we'll call them. Okay, let me know.